Bonjour tout le monde. No matter who you are, the last few months will have changed your daily routine in ways big and small. Canadians in every sector have faced challenges and tough choices at work. And that includes people at research institutes who are making the discoveries that keep us safe and healthy. Science and research is our door to a brighter future, and that has never been clearer. But because of the pandemic, many labs have closed or are at risk of imminently closing. So understandably, people are worried about their jobs and their future. So today, we are announcing $450 million to help researchers and research institutions bridge to better times. For universities and affiliated research institutes that have been affected by this pandemic, we will provide temporary support on wages. By delivering this money through federal granting agencies, we will get help out as quickly as possible to the people who need it. Aujourd'hui, j'annonce qu'on va investir 450 millions de dollars pour aider les chercheurs et les établissements de recherche à traverser la crise. Ces fonds serviront à maintenir les salaires de ceux qui font de la recherche pour qu'ils puissent continuer leur travail essentiel. On est chanceux. Les chercheurs canadiens sont parmi les meilleurs au monde. Tous les jours, ils font des découvertes qui nous aident à rester en santé et en sécurité, et donc on doit les appuyer. Far too many Canadians have lost their jobs because of COVID-19. As our economy gradually reopens, whatever, wherever we can do so safely, we need you back. We need you in your job, on your team, bringing life into our communities and our economy. That's exactly why we brought in the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy back in March. Because wherever possible, we wanted to keep you connected to the job you love and to the workplace where you contribute every day. When we launched this program, I talked about the neighborhood spots it would support, the local restaurant, the salon, the gym, that had been forced to close or seen business dry up. Well, today, a lot of those places are looking towards reopening, and they need to be able to bring back workers and even hire more as this happens. So this morning, I can confirm that we will extend the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy by another three months to the end of August. Business owners, please take confidence from this announcement. You now have some runway to catch your breath as you get restarted. So please, bring back your employees. Going forward, we need to make sure that this program keeps working for people that it keeps encouraging, em, encouraging employers to rehire staff and even expand where possible. So over the next month, we'll work with business and labour stakeholders on any adjustments that might be needed. One of the things we'll be looking at is the 30% revenue decline threshold for eligibility. As businesses start up, needing a decline shouldn't be a barrier to growth. I know we'll figure out solutions where needed while continuing to support employers and employees. Because that's who this is all about. If you're a business owner, if you're a worker, we're here for you, now and throughout the summer. At the same time, we've also broadened eligibility for this benefit. Minister Morneau will have more details shortly, but these changes will get even more people back on the job. So to business owners who haven't applied, to do, uh, applied yet, go online and do so. The help is there for you. Aujourd'hui, je peux confirmer qu'on va prolonger la subvention salariale de trois mois jusqu'à la fin du mois d'août. Si vous êtes propriétaire d'une entreprise et que vous vous préparez à rouvrir vos portes, cette subvention sera là pour vous et pour vos employés. On doit s'assurer que ce programme continue d'aider les gens, qu'il encourage les employeurs à réembaucher leurs employés et à élargir leurs, leurs activités autant que possible. Alors, au cours du prochain mois, on va travailler avec les représentants des entreprises et des travailleurs pour effectuer les ajustements nécessaires. On va notamment se pencher sur le seuil d'admissibilité d'une perte de 30 Quand les entreprises sont prêtes à reprendre et même à grandir, ce seuil ne devrait pas être une barrière à la croissance. 
On va également élargir la portée de la subvention pour aider encore plus de gens à retourner au travail. Et le ministre Morneau donnera plus de détails plus tard aujourd'hui. Depuis le mois de mars, on prévoit plus de soutien pour les parents et les travailleurs, pour les étudiants et les aînés, pour les industries les plus durement touchées et les petites entreprises. On vient en aide à ceux qui en ont besoin. Et aujourd'hui, on donne suite à nos engagements. Today kicks off this year's hiring period for Canada's summer jobs. The first set of job postings are up on the Job Bank website, and thousands more will be posted over the coming weeks. If you're a student or recent grab, grad, go to jobbank.gc.ca, that's jobbank.gc.ca, or download the Job Bank app to check it out. And tell your friends about it too. If they don't already know, there are lots of opportunities available. These placements mean a paycheck and valuable experience in jobs that are key to our fight against COVID-19. Of course, no one program can single-handedly solve the fact that there are fewer jobs out there because of the pandemic. So for students and recent grads who still need help, starting today, you can apply for the Canada Emergency Student Benefit. Go to Canada.ca to sign up. For parents who receive the Canada Child Benefit and people who get the GST-HST credit, we also have more news to share today. Although everyone should do their best to file their taxes in time for the new June 1st deadline, your benefits won't automatically be cut off if for some reason you miss that date. Your CCB and GST-HST benefits will continue until the end of September. But be sure, in order to keep getting them, uh, you need to file your taxes as soon as you can so there's enough time for the paperwork to be processed and you'll be able to continue receiving those benefits beyond September. Si vous êtes étudiant, assurez-vous de consulter le site web d'Employité Canada où on va afficher un premier lot d'emploi aujourd'hui. Et si vous n'arrivez pas à trouver une job d'été, la prestation d'urgence pour les étudiants sera là pour vous. Vous pouvez présenter une demande dès aujourd'hui. Tout le monde devrait essayer autant que possible de produire leur déclaration de revenus d'ici le 1er, 1er juin. Mais si vous n'êtes pas en mesure de le faire à temps, vos prestations, comme l'allocation canadienne pour enfants ou le crédit pour la TPS-TVH, ne seront pas interrompues tout d'un coup. Vous allez les recevoir jusqu'au mois de septembre. Mais on vous demande quand même de faire votre déclaration de revenus le plus rapidement possible pour qu'on aille le temps de traiter votre dossier et que vous pourriez continuer à recevoir ces bénéfices euh, passé septembre. Les gens traversent des moments difficiles en ce moment, mais en travaillant ensemble et en restant là les uns pour les autres, on va s'en sortir. Merci.